The original Gymshark crew were the most popular bodybuilders of the early 2010s and have been credited with launching Gymshark into what is now a billion dollar business. But what happened to the six original members of the Gymshark crew after this promo video dropped and gained over 22 million views? Starting with arguably one of the lesser known stars of the Gymshark crew, Alon Gabe was a German member of the crew who joined the Gymshark rank slightly later than the rest. He has a combined Instagram following of around a quarter of a million and it's the same as his YouTube channel under the same name. Alan was actually the original poster of the Gymshark crew video titled Aesthetic Natural Bodybuilding Motivation Fitness Aesthetics. Obviously it's pretty questionable whether any of them were natural but Alan still posted videos to his channel multiple times claiming his physique was natural, releasing more natural physique videos. He also showed off the lifestyle he was leading due to his affiliation with different gym brands and gym shop, showing off his car, quad bike, house and girls he had around the house. Throughout the mid 2010s he led a life of going to the gym, getting drunk and meeting girls. However, something must have changed for Alon, as his lifestyle now couldn't be any further away from the one he used to lead. He has admitted in the past that due to his age ADHD, he was bullied at school and actually had addiction issues as a result of this. He was leading himself down a dark path when he was younger through his addiction to illegal substances and mental health issues. Eventually, he found fitness and the gym and felt reborn. However, he possibly saw himself going down the exact same path due to his gym bro lifestyle and decided to make a change. In early 2017, he posted that he was learning more about spirituality and shamanism, posing by a campfire with a big flute. From this post on is when he started to go down the rabbit hole and open his third eye. As he admits he's taken a break from bodybuilding and started to learn how to flex his spiritual and mysticism muscles more. Here he is playing a Native American medicine flute to his seemingly ill grandmother. It was around this time that he stopped posting about Gymshark 2 and had seemingly parted ways with the brand. He's barely posted on his Instagram and posts about once a year but he seems happier than ever after starting his young family and continuing on his spiritual spiritualistic lifestyle. He hasn't posted on his YouTube channel in years either, but he has kept the original Gymshark videos up. Someone who's lived pretty much the exact opposite life is Jeff Sade, who people think is perpetually stuck in 2013. Jeff Sade probably had the goal physique for every teenage boy in the early 2010s, having around 350,000 followers on Instagram in 2013, which was a ridiculous number for the time. His YouTube channel was doing similar numbers too, and by the time the first Gymshark crew video dropped, Jeff had already hit 124,000 YouTube subscribers. He was easily the biggest name of the group at the time, with his iconic haircut and chiseled physique drawing more and more followers to his pages. Jeff went viral in 2012 after posting a video titled How You Doing, which was essentially a 20 minute compilation of him competing in different shows and just walking around and training. He gained comments from thirsty girls and jealous boys. <laughs> One of the top comments on his first ever YouTube video was, so this is how a legend begins. But this commenter may not have realized just how accurate this statement would turn out to be. Jeff went on to essentially become the face of Gymshark, with the company calling him the most aesthetic teenager in the world. He would constantly post images of him wearing the brand, in particular the iconic Gymshark sweatpants. However, this love affair between the brand and Jeff wouldn't last forever, and in the mid 2010s, he just stopped posting the brand. There's no no official word as to why Jeff stopped posting with Gymshark, but online commenters think that the brand didn't want to be associated with Jeff's party lifestyle. Jeff has claimed in a tweet from 2014 that he was the one who dropped Gymshark, but people online seem to think that it was the other way around and that Jeff was simply embarrassed about being dropped. He claims that he dropped Gymshark to start his own gym wear brand, but there's been no official word and this one tweet is the only evidence we have. The clothing brand is actually still up to this day, but just like his hairstyle, it seems to be stuck in 2013. I actually thought this was inactive as it was so outdated, but comments on the Sadeware Instagram account confirmed that products were still being sold, albeit shipping times would be weeks and personally fulfilled by Jeff himself. In terms of YouTube, he's currently in the middle of attempting to come back to the platform after years of solely posting on his Instagram to his 5 million followers. His YouTube videos haven't quite hit the heights of his old 
older posts. However, the comments on the videos couldn't be happier to see Jeff return. Jeff has very much cemented himself as a fitness icon and has stood the test of time, despite leaving the biggest gym brand in the world. This is in stark contrast to the next influencer, who despite staying at Gymshark, struggles to get over a few hundred likes on his Instagram posts. Chris Lovado, or Yucky as he goes by, was one of the star boys of Gymshark and was constantly modeling sweatpants alongside Jeff Sade and Matt Ogus, who we will look at soon. Alongside Jeff, he was one of the first faces of Gymshark, traveling to different conferences with the brand, including being at the famous Birmingham Expo, which led Gymshark to earn over $30,000 in 30 minutes. Chris used to be pretty active on YouTube too, with him posting vlogs with the other Gymshark athletes, and him just showing off his daily life in his Corvette, which he was obviously very proud of. He never really got the fame that Jeff or Matt got, with his Instagram account to this day having just over 103,000 followers, despite posting consistently. His YouTube tells a similar story, with just over 59,000 subscribers, although his last post on there was over six years ago. He was more likely to be seen with the CEO of Gymshark, Ben Francis, or just modeling Gymshark's clothes for them. This was quite a few years ago now though, and since his heyday in Gymshark, he sold his blue Corvette and bought a much newer model, which he's even more proud of. Surprisingly, despite his small follower count, he's still with Gymshark, and recently posted an image with the company's billionaire founder, Ben Francis. He has an online coaching business now, and like Alan Gabby, he's also started a young family of his own, and features his small children in some of his Instagram reels and pictures. This is the same as Matt Ogus, who started a similar business to Lovado, but with seemingly a little bit more success. Many people call Matt Ogus the original half natty, after he consistently claimed that he doesn't use steroids, which started all the way back in 2011, when he was first uploading videos to his Matt Ogus YouTube channel called Flex For All back then. Matt was around 20 years old at the time of making these videos and was committed to posting on his YouTube channel almost daily in spite of the low view counts a lot of his videos gained. His videos didn't really take off until he posted this in late 2011 titled 15 week drug free fat loss transformation which has went on to gain more than 14 million views. This seemed like the spark for his online fitness influencer career as it was just one year later that he just signed to Gymshark and was posing alongside Jeff Said and Chris Lovato. Alongside Jeff, he was one of the most popular at the time, with his unnaturally shredded physique gaining huge amounts of attention. Even from the beginning though, Matt gained comments which questioned his natty status. After he reposted the video of the original six Gymshark crew, commenters were quick to ask which of these natural bodybuilders were actually natural. But this didn't seem to matter, and Matt turned this negativity coming his way into into something he could profit on by launching a gym apparel website called halfnatty.com. But this has since closed its doors for good. As the aesthetics era has passed, Matt's time in the limelight has begun to fade. A few years ago, Matt would consistently get videos with six and seven figure view counts and thousands upon thousands of likes on his Instagram. However, now in 2024, his popularity is fading somewhat. He still has over a million followers on his Instagram and YouTube combined, but his latest YouTube upload has yet to break 15,000 views. Views and likes aren't everything though, and Matt has proved this by running what seems to be a successful coaching business through multiple avenues and shared fitness advice to help the average Joe. He's also started a family and recently announced to the world that he'll be expecting a baby girl. Matt still actually seems to be sponsored by Gymshark too, with him wearing the brand in most of his modeling photos and pictures for his coaching programs. However, the last post with them on the Gymshark website was 2019, so it's unclear whether anything's changed in the past five years. The next influencer though has had an absolutely massive change and looks almost unrecognizable from his days as an OG Gymshark lifter. Lex Griffin, or Lex Fitness in the fitness community, is an English influencer part of the Gymshark team was actually the first ever official Gymshark athlete. I think what brought us together was a like-minded vision. Mine for the lifestyle, the fitness and the nutrition that athletes should be following and their game-changing plans for the future. 
This was the influencer that started it all for Gymshark, and he played a big part in telling Ben Francis what worked well and what didn't. Lex built his brand on education, with most of his early videos being him trying to educate the audience on nutrition and weight loss advice, and of course, showing off Gymshark merch at the gym at every opportunity. Lex had one of the most aesthetic physiques, similar to Jeff Sade and Matt Ogus, but he also carried a wealth of knowledge of health and fitness due to his degree in biology. He said that at university, he would research diet, muscle building, techniques and more, using the information available he had on the course. This higher education might well be why Ben Francis took Lex's advice on the brand so frequently and valued his opinion highly. However, as the fitness industry evolved, so did Lex. His content began to reflect a deeper, more introspective approach to fitness and life. Lex started focusing on the importance of mental health and well-being, alongside physical fitness, addressing his audience with a more holistic approach to health, which included making videos on the excruciating massages he would go through. Despite being the first athlete for the brand and building up a great relationship, it seems the company and Lex have parted ways. It has been a number of years since Lex last posted about Gymshark, and in a recent podcast he did, he mentioned he enjoyed working with them, implying this was in the past now. Years have passed now since his original Gymshark days, and Lex looks more like a bulky viking these days, putting the looks of the aesthetic era behind him. He still posts on Instagram and YouTube and sees success in some of his recent uploads, which are mainly about his different massages he gets and videos of him in pain, which is a bit different to his older uploads. Daniel Blackwell is the final influencer of the original six, and I was genuinely surprised to see what he turned out to be doing, as it's the complete opposite to what the other original Gymshark crew members do. Unlike the other fitness influencers, Daniel never really had a YouTube channel and was mainly based on Instagram. Instagram. He honestly doesn't have too much of a footprint online, apart from a few videos of him at photo shoots. And in 2014, his Instagram account was just hitting 25,000. It was by far the smallest creator in the original six influencers. However, this doesn't mean too much to him, as Daniel still carved out a luxurious lifestyle for himself. As the days of the aesthetic era have come to an end, Daniel has opened his own moving company business called MoveItDan.com. He's even helped Ben Francis move house four times and revealed that Ben consistently sends him packages of updated Gymshark clothing for him and his employees to wear. His Instagram shows that despite not pursuing a career online or in bodybuilding, he has a great life and is enjoying every minute of it. Although some of these bodybuilders have left Gymshark, have stopped in their bodybuilding pursuit or may even be still at the brand, they've made memories and friends for life. They all seem to be on good terms too, with Jeff Sage sharing this picture with four of the original athletes having dinner together. Without these influencers, Gymshark would probably not have grown into the billion dollar business it is today. And if you want to know more about the online fitness world or how Joey Swole is tackling toxic gym culture, click one of the videos on your screen now and I'll see you in the next one. And so highly recommend you go and follow Big Craig, 31,000 followers.